It is the awesome chat. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. We are back in here in the loungy lounge area of Work Hard Pittsburgh up here in the Allentown neighborhood with a wonderful guest with us today. Kalani Cook joins us. Hi. <laughs> of course, this is your awesome chat. It's over at awesomecast.net. You subscribe to this on iTunes, Stitcher, Speaker, iHeartRadio, um, or you can find the video versions. Uh, please, because we're doing it's, it's it's nice here. It's nice and it's loungy down here and everything. Uh, you can check out the video version on YouTube and Facebook under AwesomeCast, and of course, you know, awesomecast.net for everything else. Uh, so, uh, like I said, this is the, uh, the awesome chat is where we talk to people doing awesome things. A lot of times around tech. And, uh, and, 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 and you are a, a student of the game quite literally, Kalani. You, you uh, graduated recently from Academy Pittsburgh, and we talked about before the first class, you're one of the inaugural graduates, right? Yes. Yeah, I was a part of the very first class of Academy Pittsburgh. I'm so proud to be able to say that. And um, we're one of the very few coding, if not the only coding, um, coding boot camp in the Pittsburgh area. I think, I think the, there is one more. Right. One right. other one. I don't remember the name. But still, coding is very is, is new in Pittsburgh as far as like a super, you know, popular thing. So it's really cool to be a part of the first class of one of the boot camps that I hope, you know, will change the landscape of tech in Pittsburgh. So, and I think you, if I recall, you have a very interesting story. You actually came from Chicago? I actually came from North Dakota. North Dakota, okay. Yeah, I'm from Chicago. So technically, I, I, I made a pit stop in Chicago before coming here, <laughs> but I was living in North Dakota before when I found out about this program, and then I found out I got in when I was in Chicago visiting my parents. And I had one week to be here. I found an apartment. I figured everything out literally in one week, I moved here that Sunday, and class started the next day on Monday. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. So what what made you kind of, like, do you have a history of looking at coding and everything like that, and this just seemed like the thing that fits you? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all, actually. Um, in, in college, I played around with some HTML okay. because I figured, hey, let's try to make a website. I did it for maybe a total of six hours. <laughs> so no, I hadn't much experience when I when I came to Academy Pittsburgh. I was actually one of the people who did, had never even seen code, really. I didn't know how it works. I didn't know the logic. I didn't know how it even like operated behind the scenes with, you know, websites and things like that. So I was a super newbie mm -hmm. um, coming into this. And uh, yeah, it was not easy. <laughs> so what, what kind of attracted you to, to something like this then coming from that right, background? Right. So I was a teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, I did. I, I traveled a lot. I taught in Spain. Um, I was like a medical assistant in Senegal. Like I was like all over the place in my early 20s, I guess we could say. And I never thought about tech really until my sister, she has, she started a startup in North Dakota. She already has a business there, but she did a startup that kind of aligned with her business. Mm -hmm. And she she has a mentor who is actually like this super million dollar VC guy. And he told her, hey, you know, you're, you're, if you have anyone that can do tech or maybe get into coding, this is the time to do it. So she told him about me and how I was actually there with my sister studying to get into a PhD program for cultural anthropology at Stanford. That was what I was doing. I was studying at my sister when I was staying with my sister in North Dakota. And she comes in and she's like, Kalani, you need to stop what you're doing and you need to do coding. And I was like, ew, why? <laughs> like, what? And <laughs> that's she's a lot like, of people's reaction to that. Yeah. And that's such a different thing than you were into. Yeah, so different. And it was just like, why? And she was like, just look into it because this is the, the future. Even if you never do anything with it, just to know it is, mm -hmm. is probably beneficial, beneficial to you. And so I was like, all right, I'll look into it. So I Google and I'm like, all right. And I found out that coding camps cost $20,000 or more. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I can't afford this. Then I Google free and Academy Pittsburgh popped up. And I called Josh and I said, hey, are you guys looking for anyone else? Like, I guess I could give it a try. He's like, yeah, come and just apply. And I got in and the rest is history. Nice. Because there is, um, I, I think there's some grants or something along those lines to help people get into the course, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. Uh, so 
how how was uh, uh, you know the course uh, from <laughs> what I understand is a very zero to sixty. Uh, yeah, try zero <laughs> to a hundred. Yeah, yeah. In five. So. <laughs> In five weeks, right? Um, so, so how? What was your transition like? I, I was looking at your Twitter today, and 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 you showed this board of a bunch of a uh, 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 code or something that you, yeah. you, you know. This is the thing that helped me try to figure it out. You yeah. know, like, you know, back in the day. Yeah. Um, so what was what was that process like for you? So again, I told you I started from scratch. Right. I knew nothing about code. And code is pretty heady. And <laughs> Code is crazy. People have no appreciation. No, I'm not going to say no appreciation. But people who are not in tech have no idea how much work right. goes into just a simple website. Like, it's crazy. So I came in super fresh. And it was hard. Like, it's a 12-week program. We were there 9 to 5 every day, 9 to 1 on, on Fridays. But outside of that, we were together coding like 20 hours a week after class. Then we, my weekends were gone. So I moved to Pittsburgh and didn't see the light of day for like three months, literally straight. And it was extremely hard. I, I had two breakdowns, like two real breakdowns. One time I left the class and went to call my mother. Like, I was crying because I'm like, I don't, I'm never going to get through this. Like, this is impossible. The first week I was like, what did I just get myself into? Mm -hmm. um, so it was difficult. And, you know, I can't sugarcoat that coding is a thing that, oh, just come start coding. Like, you have to be ready to work. You have to be ready to really change the way your brain thinks and go back to your arithmetic classes in high school. And, mm -hmm. yeah, um, I'm sorry, is that, what was the rest of the question? No, no, that's, that, that's exactly what I'm asking about. Yeah, and, and, it was hard. But, it's, yeah. I think, again, people don't realize they're like, oh, it's another language and, and everything. But it, it, it it's it's... It's advantageous to get into it now because of everything going on. Right. It's it's, um, but it is hard. You do have to put the work in. You for do it. have to put the work in, and mm. people are like, "Oh, people in tech make so much money." Yes, they do for a reason. Because not everybody it's, can do it. Not everyone can do it, and it's hard. <laughs> like you're spending hours and hours looking at a computer screen with all these different numbers and and letters that mean things that have to do algorithms and things, and it's 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 definitely not for the weak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would say. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so are you Codemaster now after all these weeks? When What was the big turnaround? Where it, it, did it, did, it, did you have a point where it just kind of clicked for you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that's with anything, right? When you do something new, it's like frustrating at first. But then you, you sit back and you're like, I actually know what I'm doing right now. And I think that happened to me around week six or seven where I was like, I may be a very smart person right now. Like, I think <laughs> I understand what's happening. Like, this is amazing. I, If you can ask John, our instructor, I was the one that was like, I can't do this, like, every single day. And then I think he noticed the turnaround, too, when I think it was one of the, the problems we had, and we were in a group, and I understood the problem before everybody else did, and I showed everyone else how to do it. That was it. I was like, wait a minute. This can't be real. Like I get, and that's when it clicked, and all the other problems that we'd done previously that I didn't understand started making sense. Mm -hmm. And now I wouldn't call myself a master coder at all, <laughs> but <laughs> do I understand code? Yes. Do I know 15 plus languages? Yes. Can I make a program right now? Yes. I'm working on an app right now that I'm building from scratch. So yes, nice. it's it's amazing that. I can look at code right now of probably any website you go to right now, and I will be able to tell you what's happening. That's great. So, I mean, and, and the, one of the big kind of uh, uh, things with this program is we, by the end of this, you will be hireable, basically, yes. right? Yep. So you have at least enough know-how how to, to walk into a company and say, yeah, I can take over your, uh, this code and this code and this code. Right? I just had an interview for an extremely big company. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, it will remain nameless until I find out if I got it. <laughs> uh, hopefully we'll have good news. We can edit yeah, on the video when this releases. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> um, but even the fact that they were interested in me enough yeah. just like blew my mind. I went through the whole interview process. I had to do a coding challenge, and I did that. I passed it with flying colors. So, yes, we all and, – and then a lot of my classmates are already hired. One girl is hired at a really big company here already, and, like, we've only been out two months, and most of us are hired or either very close to being hired. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, after this program, I would say – you would definitely be, if you put your mind to it, mm -hmm. ready and hireable by the end of it. Uh, so, it, and it, it definitely, if I get this job, will change my life. And that's the amazing part about coding and the ability for anyone in any industry to start doing it if they have the gusto to actually make it through uh, is that 
we have where the first time in history, I think you can get into something that will literally change your salary like three times. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? From something you were doing before and you don't have to go to school for it. You don't need a college degree. So this has opened up so many doors for so many people who, if they just have the willpower and the brain power to see it through, they can completely change their lives. And so by me doing this, if I get this job, my life and salary will be like amazing. And so it's cool. and, and it is interesting because it, 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 we are in a point where it's demonstrable skills, yeah. not I have a piece of paper that says I learned some stuff. Yeah, right? exactly. It, you know. Exactly. Because we don't have a piece of paper. We didn't even, we, no offense, Josh, I hope you're not listening to this. <laughs> Josh is the he's head of the. Gonna I know he's going to gonna listen to this, but um, we didn't get like a piece of paper or like <laughs> we didn't get like a graduation ceremony. It was just kind of like twelve weeks up. You we're got a picture a the party. other day. I saw. I saw that you guys were getting a picture or something. Oh, the other day, so. are we? Oh, there's Josh right there. Um, well, yeah, we did get pictures taken, and he has like a website with us and like what our future plans are and things like that. Yeah. But what I'm saying, I'm not saying that to bash Josh. I love Josh, and he he's the reason. It's not my the life typical is experience. It's not the typical yeah. experience, and. I'm saying that to say when you graduate from a four-year university, yes, you get a diploma. We didn't get a diploma, a lot but of people with I diplomas still, that don't have exactly. jobs. Exactly. Yeah. So it is about the skill and it's about the immediate um, ability to, to apply what you've learned mm -hmm. and actually make an indent and impression on a company. Mm -hmm. I understand that you're going to be uh, a little bit involved in Academy Pittsburgh yeah, ongoing course. after this. Yeah. I, I love it. I was like, of course I'm sticking around. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like there's no way that I am able to, that I was able to be a part of something that is life changing and free <laughs> and not give back. And so I definitely plan to help Josh and Academy Pittsburgh and John and work hard as much as I can just out of gratitude. Mm -hmm. uh, so with that said, I am, do you want me to talk about the, the things I'm involved in? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, so one of the things is the Academy Pittsburgh podcast, mm -hmm. which ironically, we are both podcasters. <laughs> uh, and, and I believe I ran into you at PodCamp yes, Pittsburgh as well. Yes, that's right. <laughs> PodCamp Pittsburgh. Shout I got, out. I'm like, awesome. I like ran up, she's just asking all these questions in their front yeah. and you're like, oh, I'm going to do a podcast for such and such. And I went up and got your card. And I'm that's like, right. I've met you before. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. I forgot about that. So, yeah, um, I'm doing Academy Pittsburgh podcast with Rayo Benza. He's one of my other graduate classmates. Mm -hmm. And we interview various developers around Pittsburgh who are pretty, like, established in the community already or in their specific positions. Uh, and we are doing it to to encourage other new developers who may be feeling like there's just no way they're going to ever get to that level. Right. So we let these people tell their stories of when they were confused and like not understanding anything. When everybody else had that aha when, moment exactly. of, oh, oh, I get this, exactly. and now I'm teaching the class. And that's what inspired <laughs> Ray and I to do this podcast, because we were so confused, and we are like, we couldn't see the end of the rainbow. Mm -hmm. And so we're like, let's try to figure out if other people felt like this. And so we get a lot of good resources from them and a lot of good advice, and it's just really fun to talk and uh, utilize our network work as developers to be able to give that to our audience what was uh, uh your, your co-host also kind of one of those stories where I, they came in knowing kind of little to nothing or so ray had 15 years of project management experience okay and he dabbled with code but not but like deep no, in no no yeah. i think we had maybe three people in our class of 17 who actually had done code yeah before but even with them because i used to say it's not fair you guys already know how to do this it's not fair but John brought up a good point is that they may know code, but it's either very outdated mm -hmm. or it's they like, are not doing it the correct way. Like I know way. in high school, I had they're like, oh, here, we learned Pascal. And I'm <laughs> like, and like even in like the late 90s, I'm like, yeah. what do I do with this? Right. Because like, this... languages move so fast. Right, right. And the things that were being used 20 years ago are almost obsolete at this point. Right. So, uh, yeah, Ray, Ray was kind of sort of in the same boat. As far as that, so the podcast is cool. We we really enjoy it. Uh, the other thing I'm involved in with Academy Pittsburgh, we are starting um, next semester for high school students. The we don't have a name yet, but there's going to be the little I'm going to call it Little Academy Pittsburgh, where we are teaching junior and senior high school students who are interested in some form of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math to um, to code, and we're teaching them the logic behind it and how to make their own website and things like that. So that'll be every Saturday for the entire semester, next semester, January through May. And that's what we're doing with that. And what else? Oh, I'm part of the work hard, like, co-op. So, like, I help, you know, 
the businesses here, yeah. startups, and I work hard and whatever I can do to just like really just give back because this was such an op- awesome opportunity. Excellent, excellent. So if people want to check things out, check out when the podcast because the podcast is still coming. At the this podcast, point, right? we are still, still doing works. our backlog like mm-hmm. recording, so we have not officially launched mm-hmm. uh, our. Producer Epicast, who is also out of work hard, they want us to have like ten so that we can just launch all of them at once, right? And have some some library of mm-hmm. sorts. Because it is nice because it's it's not something that you have to do where it's current events necessarily. Exactly. It's more subject matter. Yeah, interviews. subject matter yeah. and it's timeless. I guess like this say. podcast. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love this. This is awesome. And you are also doing like this is involved in tech area right, kind of right, thing so right. i think the more of these that we have in pittsburgh because pittsburgh is so new in technology and it's so up and coming i think what we're doing and what you're doing right now is really important uh i think it's going to put pittsburgh on the map in many ways it gets the word out it gets, it gets the stories the out, out. Yeah. and 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 i love that so what, what you guys are doing and then yeah. it's a nice follow-up to to what it what looks like it's an amazing boot camp i have people amazing. like come up to me like man i'm thinking about that academy of pittsburgh you know I'm, I'm thinking i'm thinking about doing a reset you For know sure. and it's a great thing that, that, that a lot of people are finding themselves uh, um trying to reset mm-hmm. you know at several different age groups yeah and uh and it's a good thing if you can we get your it. head around it and ready to do the work you know right exactly yeah don't anyone who wants to do it don't be shy we had all races all backgrounds all ages 18 to 52 uh all different kind of industries uh mm-hmm. it's really open to anyone there was a involved. um um a uh like another program in our company was doing, I think like out of Cincinnati or something. Mm-hmm. And it, it was kind of similar to what they, they'll put you through the paces to learn some things and get into stuff like this. Mm-hmm. And they were saying, we were getting like, you know, stay at home moms joining us at 40, you yeah, know, that, that, that have never worked, right. you know? And that, that, I think that's the, 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 the wide opportunity there. It, and again, it's not what you did before. It's what can you, it's what can you do what now? What can you do now? Yep. What can you do now? And what can you do in, uh, uh, in the course of a boot camp, you yes, know, for so, sure. that's awesome. So Academy Pittsburgh, I believe is uh, academypgh.com. Mm-hmm. Where can people check out things that you're doing or where you're at online? Yeah. Uh, I'm a Twitterer. <laughs> so tweet me at Kalani underscore J that's K E L A U N as in what's an N word. Oh, uh, wait, maybe we don't want to use the N word. Uh, nougat. nougat. <laughs> there we go. Let's Google use that one. Google just through this. Yes. <laughs> so K-E-L-A-U-N as in nugget, I <laughs> underscore J. <laughs> um, that's my Twitter. And then you can always email me, Kalani.Cook, K-E-L-A-U-N-I dot C-O-O-K at gmail.com. Yeah, I love to meet people, talk to people, especially in the tech community. Uh, I have a meetup. Can I shout out my meetup? Oh, yeah, of course. So I, I also run a tech meetup. It is called Beers and Debuggers and Work Hard. Josh Lucas, who is a, a head of Academy Pittsburgh, he sponsors it. And I hold it at Academy Pittsburgh every other Tuesday from 6 until we get out of there. And basically, we we learn something in coding that we might just want to brush up on or learn something, I guess, a new, new part of a language or something. And then we do group coding together and make little programs for like the next, you know, two hours after we do the instruction part. So it's open to anyone. It's geared towards new developers, but we'd love to have any level of developers come out. And we drink beer, we have music, and we basically just party and code which is my life. Like I love both of those things dearly, <laughs> equally. <laughs> so I, I'm, I would, I invite you to come out. That's awesome. Go yeah. check it out. And of course, Please do. thank you so much for joining us. And of course, uh, check out all the wrestling interviews we're doing. Several of them here at work hard Pittsburgh, um, over the next, uh, past and future few weeks here, of course. Um, awesomecast.net is the main site. Join us for the live show. If you want to join the tech conversation, live.awesomecast.net every Tuesday, at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time and subscribe to the show, like it, share it, share it with everybody so we can get these stories out there as well. Uh, thank you to my awesome guests. Yay! You've been our awesome audience. Yes. Have an awesome week. <laughs> this show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.